right, let's talk about how to start a podcast business. Make that cash money, record a little microphone, and just live large recording and touching and communicating and connecting with people. Now, the real secrets, I'm going to just say it right away. So don't go nowhere. Like and subscribe my channel. Check out evergreentactics.com for a pay-what-you-want course on podcasting. But let's start a podcast business. You have to think of a conversation that you can have with your desired audience over and over and over. Like it can be a broad topic that you talk about. It can be a story that you're telling that's really engaging. But you really want to think about first who your core audience is. You know, to have a business, in any business, you need to come up with a customer avatar. And you really need to do your research on who they are, what they like, and why they're listening to your podcast. Now, are you, And then you have to make your podcast deliver insane value for those listeners. Okay, They either have to be truly entertained, they really need to learn something, or they really just need that time to be with you and to forget about their life. Okay, So those are the three things that you need to think about. Think about your audience, think about your call to actions, and then let's talk about how to really grow a podcast business. Okay. So once you're podcasting and you have your topic, you have your audience and you're getting it, how do you actually make money growing your podcast? Well, consistency, my friend, is how you grow a podcast business. Consistency. So there's a good workflow, right, where you can create a podcast, okay, and then you turn your podcast into uh, audiograms and thumbnails and you put it all over social media, right? And then you also transcribe your podcast and you put it on your blog, Okay, your blog will start to rank in Google. All right, your podcast will rank in iTunes and you just build this on top of everything. And then you come up with really good call to actions, something that's going to pay you good money, real money. Okay, for your life work and your podcasts business, you have to do this. So even before you start your podcast, you might want to think about what it is you're going to sell. Are you going to be an affiliate? Right? Are you going to make your own product? Are you going to do courses and consulting? Are you going to have a service that you sell through your podcast? Are you let people know about your service through your podcast? Are you going to sell merchandise? Are you just going to make hats and shirts? Are you going to ask for people on Patreon? Are you going to write a book and you're going to sell your book on your podcast? But you really have to think about it beforehand, okay? Because if you monetize from the jump, that's how you're going to make a lot of money because you're going to grow your podcast with your audience and you're going to have this call to action, right? This call to action is going to get people off of their podcast and they're going to come to you and they're going to listen and they're going to buy from you for your podcast business, okay? All right, so let's talk about the customer journey for your podcast business. So people are going to be listening to your podcasts and you're going to be building a lot and a lot. And if you take my course on evergreentactics.com called Podcast Promotion, I show you how every episode you put out, you can reach thousands and thousands of people without having a large social media, without having an email list, without any of that stuff. Like, that doesn't matter. It just matters that you create great content, you optimize it, and then you put it out there. So, if you're going to think about your customer journey, right, your, your customer is listening to their your episodes, they're, they're digging it, they're building a relationship with you, they hear your voice, and then they hear your call to action, right? What are your call to actions going to be? Number one, uh, opt in for your newsletter, you know, so that means going to your email, going to your website, putting their email in, all right? That's kind of it. The best way to do that is to give them a really good uh, lead magnet, something that's worth something to them, so that they opt into your list. And that's a way that you can make a lot of money by having people opt into your email list and then selling them affiliate products or selling them your own products once they you have them in your email ecosystem, okay? But what works better almost is you do something where you get uh, this app called Textiful, okay? Textiful. And you have people text. Uh, they, they, you, get, you get like a five-digit number. You text it. And then you send them, they get their information SMS. So that's two ways that you can grow a list and then you can start marketing to them that way. Another way is that you just have people go to your website, right? 
they listen to the podcast, you tell them every week, hey, go check out my, my blog, go check out my website, I got some really great stuff on there, opt into my newsletter, whatever it is, they go to your website, right? And they, they either buy what it is you're trying to sell, right? Or they hop off. What happens though is when they go to your website, you mark them with a pixel, with a Facebook pixel, a Google pixel, or whatever, and then you remarket to them whatever you're trying to sell. Okay, think about how powerful that is. Because most people that listen to podcasts listen the whole way through. Okay, so they got their headphones in, they're listening, or they're in their car, or they're at the gym, or they're going for a walk or a run, or, or they're in their house talking to their Amazon Echo while they cook dinner or whatever, you know? They're listening to your podcast. They're listening the whole way through. So they might not hop in the first episode, but if you stay consistent, let's say, it's they say it takes about four episodes for someone to take action, okay? But why is this so powerful for you? Because unlike, you know, Facebook where they just jam ads in your feed or YouTube where they have ads that interrupt videos or Google where they have pop-ups and everything, the customer for a podcast is listening and then when they finally do go to your call to action, they are taking the, the action of actually going to it and looking on their phone and going to your website. You know what that means? They're halfway sold already before they get to your website. Super powerful for you, okay? But you have to think about that. You have to think about the customer journey. So they're going to listen to your podcast, and then they're going to take the action to go to your website to buy what you're offering. Now, the other way that you can do it is you can come up with a really good lead magnet or a really good product ahead of time and then create the content create the episodes where you are targeting keywords targeting that audience and you are driving them back to your website for the irresistible offer that is related okay this is an incredible way to have a, a good business so you just have to get good at creating digital products or getting people or email marketing right or retargeting okay and then the last way that you could be making a lot of money is sponsorships. Now, I always recommend that you first sell your own products because you're, then you're keeping all the profits. If you're doing a sponsorship, you're only getting a small percentage of the profits of your audience. Okay, so you got to think about that. But it's just another way to keep creating podcasts and get sponsored. Now, once you have a good niche for your, your podcast and you know what you're talking about and you have a big audience for your podcast, people are going to want to work with you. Okay, uh, on average, for every thousand uh, downloads you get, you can make anywhere from twenty to a hundred dollars. Okay, so let's say in the middle is about sixty bucks, right? So you get a thousand, you get sixty dollars for every thousand downloads, and you get about a thousand downloads per episode. So then you're making sixty bucks per episode. But then you stick with it, you get to ten thousand downloads per episode. That's six hundred dollars. If you did one episode a week, that's twenty four hundred dollars a month. If you did one episode a day, that's a lot of money. You just have to have a lot of good content and a lot of loyal fans, and you have to be able to make something for the audience. Make them want to keep listening. Make them want to come back, all right? Now, that is a podcast business, but let's talk about the real power of podcast businesses. It's called networking. Networking. You have your podcast audience, right? And then you have another podcaster who has his own big podcast audience and you guys come together for a collaboration where you guys just talk about a certain subject that your audiences would love. You swap audiences now, right? Everybody hears your podcast and you can get really big, really fast. So then let's say they have a book, you can get a commission off of that. Let's say you have a huge audience and, but they, and somebody else has a book. You can charge that person to come onto your podcast and share it with your audience. This is another way to monetize and create a podcast business. The power of collaboration, though, is what I'm trying to get at. It's a huge enforcer and a power of podcasting. People that podcast already have all the equipment, they know how to be respectful, and they have large audiences. If you want to sell something, just go on other people's podcasts, and then once you have a big enough podcast, you can charge people to come onto your podcast. And you can charge people from day one to be on your podcast. There's people on Fiverr that do it all the time. Another great way to make money, okay? So the way that you can make money is people opt into your email list and then you email market to them. SMS marketing, okay? You sell your own products, your courses, your services, your coaching, your merch, your books, whatever else you can think of, okay? Your art, 
These are great ways to monetize your podcast because you have very good listeners that are fans of you now. This is how you build fans. A fanocracy is really how you build an awesome podcast business. The next step is you start to go on an interviewing tour. Okay, You, you block out about two weeks and you just bust out as many freaking interviews as you humanly can in those two weeks and then you edit them and then you put them out you know, every week or every month one of those interviews that you have and you've got content for the next year, okay? And you can make tons of money doing that. Lots of connections, lots of ways to grow your audience and connect with more people, all right? And then the other one is sponsorships. Once you have a targeted audience and a large fan base, then you can outreach to people to be like, hey, would you like to be a sponsor for my show? I get this many downloads. I charge this much per episode. I recommend that you buy four episodes each. Boom, podcast business, all right? And this is just another great way to sell anything you want and talk about anything and get your message heard, all right? But these are just ways that you can start a podcast business. Another thing is you can sell affiliate products. Affiliate products are, are great, but you have to come up with good affiliates for podcasting. One of the biggest ones is Audible. You can sign up on Amazon to become an Audible member or an Audible affiliate is what I meant to say, and then you get... You can, they already have ads that you can put on your podcast that drive people straight to Audible. And then they just have to go to your blog to get the link or they have to use your coupon code or something like that. And boom, Audible. People are already listening to podcasts. They probably listen to audiobooks. Great way to start your business. Other affiliates that I remember is, or I recommend is get some high paying affiliates. Uh, ClickFunnels is a good one because ClickFunnels charges people $99 a month. But if you become a ClickFunnels affiliate, and you sell ClickFunnels, then you can get $40 per month. That's reoccurring income. It's a great way for everybody to win. I don't use ClickFunnels, but that's just the idea I want you to have of if you're going to pick affiliates, okay? And then another way that you can do affiliate stuff is if you are an Amazon affiliate, any product on Amazon, you can start making money by being affiliate. So what's some cool way to blow up your podcast is you do book reviews or you do movie reviews and then you sell the um, product you're talking about or doing a review on your website and you tell your audience to go to your website if you're going to buy the book, please buy it through my affiliate link. All right. These are all amazing ideas and there's so many more ways to monetize your podcast that I talk about in my course. Go to evergreentactics.com podcast promotion. It's a pay whatever you want course. So go there now. At least check it out. All right. I hope you guys have the best luck on your podcast business. Go to evergreentactics.com if you want to learn more.